Nolan starts his windup, deals the first pitch of the game, and it's lofted out towards left by Dalvi Rosario. This pitch is going to leave the yard. It's a home run on the first pitch of the game for Dalvi Rosario, and Beloit immediately jumps out to a 1-0 lead. Wow, Connor Nolan challenged Dalvi Rosario on the first pitch. Yesterday, Rosario swung at the first pitch of the game, and he singled Ben for others in the Cub lineup. There goes Beasley breaking to third, and McGeary lines one in the center. It's a base hit, great read by Beasley. He'll take off, he scores easily. The Cubs have tied it at one. An RBI single for Hayden McGeary. It's his ninth ribby, one and one on Opitz, batting left-handed. As Opitz drives one towards left, moving back his Bradshaw towards the wall, battling the win, he will make a basket catch on the warning track. Tagging from third and coming home in his Pinango to score the Cubs' second run. It's two to one comes on an RBI sack fly from Casey Opitz. Jones deals again and he grounds it in the right field. It's a base hit. Perfectly done by McGarry. Alcantara scores. Pinango to third, they invited Hayden McGeary to hit it the opposite way, and that's exactly what he did. McGeary at first, Pinango at third, and Pertuz grounds one sharply to short, fielded by Zamora to second for one. No, it gets away. It stumbled out of the mid of the second baseman, Cape and Pertuz will take second. McGeary up to third, and Pinango scores. Second off the Two base air, and Opitz drives one in the air to deep left center, forcing Rosario to the wall. Looking up, it is off the wall for a base hit. McGeary trots home, Pertuz in the score. It's an RBI double for Casey Opitz. And Opitz already in the game has three RBIs. His domination of Beloit continues. This is exceptional. There goes Pinango to third. McGeary lines one the other way into right. It's a base hit. Pinango heading home. He'll score on McGeary's third single of the day. Hayden McGeary in the game already has three RBIs. Bills today in the Cubs org. Zamora shoots a ball deep center. This is trouble. Beasley moves back to the wall. He cannot make the catch. It bangs against the wall. Zubia at third, he'll be waved around and will score. It's an RBI double for Joshua Zamora and Beloit's back on the board. It's seven to two, and it has. The one two is a high chopper, middle of the infield off of Cape and it's a base hit. Bradley Beasley scores and it's eight two comes. RBI for Pinango, it's his eighth of the series. Cubs lead 8-2, and Beasley rips it up the left field line. It's a base hit. It'll wind up in the corner. Opit scores. Here's Wetzel on third, being weighed by Lance Rimmel. Two-run double. Bradley Beasley to Cubs are at double digits, and it's 10-2. Mourinhoz hits a big bouncer left side. Mane has it. Underhand flip to second one. On the first double play. Cubs win. Cubs win for the second straight day. They close the game on a twin killing. 6-4-3 is the way it rolls. And the Cubs are going to split and tie the series against Beloit. They come back to tie it after losing 10-8 on Friday night. Beloit seemed to have the momentum. But the Cubs score 19 runs in the last two days and split it up. And now the Cubs are gonna overtake first place in the Midwest League West Division. The Cubs are a game up on the Sky Carp and a half game up on the Cedar Rapids Colonels who were postponed today. A lot of fun at Four Winds Field on a Sunday. We thank you for being with us on MILB TV. The post game show is coming up next on WSBT. The Cubs are six and three off day tomorrow and in Great Lakes starting on Tuesday.